Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff Lanoski and you're watching the Trail Boss channel. This channel is all about documenting my love for riding the most technical trails I could find, but I also like to sprinkle in how-tos and trail reviews so that you could have all the intel that you need so that you can get out on the trail and be a boss yourself. In this video, we're gonna talk about lifting your front wheel. It seems pretty simple, and it is, but there's a few different ways to do it, and it's really important to understand when to use each technique depending on your situation. All right, before we lift our front wheel, let's talk about what happens when we aren't lifting a wheel. Your ready position should be elbows and knees slightly bent, looking forward. You want to stand on a steady base through the pedals, which puts most of your weight there. Most of your mass of your body is right here, and the pivot point to lift your front wheel is here. All of your weight is in front of the rear axle, and that keeps your front wheel down. All right, so let's dive into the different styles of lifting your front wheel. I'm sure that there's more than three but we're gonna stick with the wheelie, the preload and lift, and the manual and lift. Now, a wheelie is a great way to lift your front wheel, and I'm sure some of you might comment below of how you use wheelies to get over obstacles, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna stick with two main ways to lift your front wheel and how to apply them on the trail to get up and over an obstacle. First up, the preload and lift. Roll in your ready position. Everything is weighted so my front wheel stays down. Bend your elbows and knees to compress the bike. Next, I push straight up. The bike is still weighted, but my hips are traveling upward. As my feet unweight the cranks, I'm able to briefly lift the front end. Next up, the manual lift. I roll in my ready position. I compress into the bike. This time, it's more about coiling up my body rather than preloading. The next step is a point of debate. You want your weight behind the rear axle, so some might say shift your weight back, others say accelerate your bike forward. Since your bike and body both move separately in space, it's hard to say either one is wrong. Eventually, your weight is behind your rear axle, your arms are relatively straight, that allows you to hold up your front wheel. Notice that the dots are all still red. Nothing is weightless, it's all about shifting my weight back and balancing. Okay, so before we get into the when and where you should use each technique on the trail, let's talk about the pros and cons of each technique real quick. When you do the preload and lift, your weight is usually over the bottom bracket or maybe even slightly in front of it. And what that does is it allows you to keep forward momentum. It also coils your body into the handlebars more. So it allows you to have a little bit more explosive power when you're running out of momentum. The downside of a preload and front wheel lift is that you can't really do it that far. So the main determining factor of how far you can do that is how fast you're going. All right, now for the manual lift. When you do a manual lift, you're lifting your front wheel not by compressing into the handlebars and coming straight up. You're doing it by shifting your weight back behind the rear axle. So you're moving all the weight from your hips behind the rear axle and that's gonna allow you to lift your front wheel and hold it for a much longer time. When you start to dial these in, you'll be standing in a much firmer base. Since it puts your weight far back, when you're trying to do moves that require forward momentum, it's gonna take a bit of effort to get your weight from the back seat back to the front of the bike and allow you to keep that front wheel going. All right, let's head out onto the trail and we'll dive into the Trail Boss archives and we'll try to find some really tricky situations and show you what's best about either one. All right, let's take a look. These first two clips are a move called a punch. You need to keep your momentum going forward. I'll link to a how-to for this move in the description below so you can learn more. On rough takeoffs, you want to float over your bike. Definitely preload and lift all day long. It's also preferred for downslope drops. I also have a link to a how to drop video in the description below as well. Next up, manual lifts. Here's a textbook flat drop with a smooth takeoff. Manual lift is minimal effort and total control. On this drop, it allows me to snipe the landing perfectly. 
I need to keep my front end up, but I just can't huck it. So a manual lift allows me to do just that. Manualing into really small logs works well. And for extra style points, you could manual to hop over bigger logs. Last but not least, here's a preload and lift to a manual to a punch. All right, I had a ton of fun making this video for you and diving back into the Trail Boss archives to show you the kind of content that you can see on this channel. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The more you practice, the more comfortable and the better you'll get. One of the cool things about learning front wheel lifts, whether it's a preload and lift or the manual lift, you can practice both of these on the trail or even in a parking lot. So you really have no excuse not to spend a lot of time practicing these moves and getting them completely dialed. The leaves are coming down. It's a beautiful fall day, so it's time for me to head out onto the trail. So until next time, get out there and be a boss.